Hello, True James here from LearnGuitarInLondon.com. I hope you're having an awesome day. I am doing a fingerstyle version of A Day in the Life by The Beatles. Now, this is my version of something that I've written out, a little labour of love that I've been working on of late. Um, it's pretty simple if you're a beginner. Um, not too many challenging bar chords or changes up and down the neck and you know once you've got the tab by the way the tab is free you can um, use a link in the video description there to get it um, it's it's pretty simple uh, this lesson is going to be in two parts okay so to get the second part you just need to sign up for free to the student area of the LGL LGIL website Learn Guitar in London's website um, so I've included a link here where you can do that. It's all completely free, it just takes a name and an email address and then you can watch part two and you can also get the tab there as well. So without further ado, we're going to um, have a look at the left hand, learn how to play it. We're not going to be doing um, Paul's little cheery part that happens after um, John's main part. So um, just prepare yourself for that. It's going to be kind of glummish, uh, but that's just kind of how I like it with this finger style piece. Let's have a look at that intro a little bit slower. So really, I think this is it's quite simple. You're going to be starting on your middle finger on the third fret on the thickest string, okay? And you're going to play that with your thumb. I'm going to show you the finger picking rule just once. Thumb on the E, A and D string. Index finger on the G, middle finger on the B, ring finger on the E. Do not shortcut the rule, do not use your thumb for everything, and do not blur the line between thumb and index here. What I see a lot of students doing is they start using their index on the D or their thumb on the G. Remember, keep to that rule. It will make you a better guitarist. Well, finger style guitarist. Make you a better guitarist as well. Anyway, um, so thumb here on the thicker string. Playing that, uh, sorry, middle finger on the thicker string, playing with your thumb, there you go Drew, well done. Then open on the B string, then third fret on the B string. Okay, let's just get my guitar a bit closer. Then lift it up again. So thumb, letting that ring the whole time, don't let go and stop it. In general, with all finger style, you want to be letting things ring as long as you can. And that's a big part of the discipline uh, that you need to achieve, especially on the left hand. Then index finger on the second fret on the A string. So you're making a B and you're going to pinch thumb and ring. Then open on the B and then third fret on the B. And then open on the bottom string. Okay, I'll do that bar for you again. And if you know the melody of the song, just think about that for the rhythm. But uh, I saw the news today, oh boy. Okay. So you've just we've just done a pinch on the thumb and the middle finger going into the next bar. Then middle finger on the second fret on the D string, leave that there, make sure it's not touching any of the other strings, so fingertip, thumb around the back, thumb, index, middle, then lift that up, and then thumb, thumb on the D string, index, middle. So that second bar is... Okay, I'm now just going to put together the first line, you can play it with me, three, four... Good. Now, we're going to make a C chord as such, but we're just going to lift up the middle, middle uh, finger of the C chord. So that's third fret on the A string, first fret on the B string, thumb, index, which would be on an open string, then lift up the index here to start with, then middle on the open string, then close it with the first fret. Then middle finger back where it was before on the second fret on the A string, pinching thumb and middle. Then ring finger tuck it underneath so it's on the G string on the second fret and play that and then let go and then put it back. So it's okay, so I'm gonna play that line again. 
Then move this middle finger down, pinch thumb and index. You have to break the finger picking rule for this. So thumb on the A string, index finger on the D string, pinch, and then middle, middle on open B strings. And then thumb on the D, index. And then thumb on the A, thumb on the D, index, thumb. I'll do that again. You're then going to repeat. Okay, so back to the first part of the song. And then the C is normal. So leaving it there, that's, that's what we've done before. Then this time it is slightly different. We're going to bring the ring finger down to the third fret on the D string. And you're going to be pinching that thumb and middle finger. So that's the sound you're going to get. It's quite discordant, but it works. Then middle finger on the second fret on the D, G string like before. Play it with the index and then let go. And then open G again. So I'm going to do that going back to the C. And then this is the same as we've just played in the bar before. So middle finger on the D string, thumb, thumb, index, middle, lift up, open strings. And then you're going to repeat. Back to the C. This time, instead of going to open like you normally would, make a C chord and just pick it down. Thumb, thumb, index, middle. And then we're going to be going back to the beginning of the song. Okay? So you see that um, there's a little number one above the tab, and that's telling us the first time round to play up to there and then go back right to the beginning where there's two little dots. I'll just show you on the music. Um, so here's the two little dots at the beginning. That's where we're going to be going back to. Okay, okay, good. Then next time round, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be missing out this number one here, okay? It also goes on to the second page, and instead you're going to be skipping to number two instead. And that goes like this. Okay, so that part you make your C as normal, so thumb, on the A string on the third fret, then index on the open B, open B, sorry, open G, open G, open B, first fret, then move this down so we're making our F, thumb on there, middle finger, pinch, to open, open. And then it goes into 16th beats, okay, and we're going to be pinching thumb and middle, and I want you to get your middle finger on this hand ready on the G string on the second fret, okay? Pinching thumb and middle though. Then index, middle, index. So it's pinch, index, middle, index. Then pinch, middle, index. So it's, and then again, pinching. So I'll do that again. Half beat. Okay, I'm going to leave off there. I'll see you over for part two. Thanks so much for watching my lesson. Don't forget to uh, get the tab and to watch part two. It's all completely free. You just need to sign up to um, my student area. It just takes the name and the email address. I've included a link down here now. So you can just click on that and then I'll see you over there for the rest of the lesson and the tab. This lesson was brought to you by brightonguitars.co.uk. They're a quirky independent guitar shop in Brighton where I bought this wonderful Furch guitar from. So you should really check them out. Uh, keep on playing. I put new videos on Tuesday and Friday on my YouTube channel. So don't forget to subscribe. See you soon.